Hi everyone, welcome back. In all our bottle filling example, we've been using Node Red as our HMI interface. In this example, we will use SCADA BR for our HMI interface. SCADA BR is an open source software which is compatible with Open PLC via the Modbus interface. We will design a quick HMI interface with this software. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we make use of our previous logic, this very one. Okay, so what we need to do is to click on this button, okay, to upload this software into your Arduino board. Okay, we have the interface, we have the Arduino Uno already selected. We have the communication interface, every setting remains the same. Okay, good. We move on and then we click on the transfer to transfer it onto our Arduino PLC. Okay. Now we move on to SCADA BR. You can have a look at uh, my previous tutorial if you want to know more about SCADA BR. Okay, so we click and then we select Modbus Syria. And then we click on the add so that we can add our new source. Okay, we need to give it a project name. So this is a bottle filling machine. Okay, so we move on. We select seconds. And we will need to update every one second okay that's going to be our update period the other settings remain the same the port i need to change to com4 in my case and then board rate i send it to 115200 okay the remaining remains the same yes i use modbus rtu so still select RTU. Okay, for the slave ID is one. And then the registers, we have the call register. And our call register is somewhere around 10. So I reduce this one to 10. And then I read the calls to see whether I have communication between SCADA BR and then my Arduino PLC. Okay, we can see that it's been able to read correctly. Okay, I click on save. And we can see that it's saved now. Now I need to add my points. So I place uh, open PLC editor side by side. And then look at the points. The first point I need to add, I click on the plus and then I add my stats tag. Okay, so I call it stats. Okay, it's a call, so I re it remains like that. And then the offset address is 4. So I put 4 right there. Okay, the remaining remains the same. I click on save. My first tag is added. I click on add again to add the next tag. Okay, so I add my output, which is the pump. I scroll to pump. Okay, and then I type pump. The offset address is one, so I change this to one. Every other item remains the same. I click on save. I click on next again. I add the buzzer. Okay. The offset address is zero. So it remains zero. I add the car bits. 
offset address is 5. I put 5 and I click save. Okay, so I repeat same for the remaining digital points and then now I'll now move on to the analog points. Okay. So I key in the time value as my nest tag. And this is a register, which is a holding register. So I change to holding register. And then I need to specify the address, which is zero. Okay, it's done. And I move on and Okay, now I need to specify the data type, which is uh, double bytes. Okay, that is done. And then I do same for the time max. I select the holding register. I change the address to one. And then I need to change the data type too as well two double bytes okay I move on and then move to the next analog signal which is the counter so so we have the bottle counter there it's a holding register data type selected and then I put the address which is two and I click on save. I do the same for the next. It's all done now. And I click on enable to enable the point. We can see all have 10 green indicating that they are active now. Okay, and now click on the enable to enable the source. We can see that it has 10 green. It is also enabled okay so we move on now i click on the data source sorry what we term as the watch list so i can see all the data that i've added and then the values that are being read currently okay so i'm adding all you can see that we have zero 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 in most of the registers and then we can see that our time max by default is 11 we can see the 11 there okay good i will now place a bottle onto the system and then we can see that it has registered that it's a 750 ml bottle which is 16 time to fill and then we can see that the bottle enable is one okay i now click on the HMI interface that is the new and then give it an HMI name which is basically the graphical interface now I choose the graphics that I designed with paint okay so if I come to paint I made a simple template with paint and I need to import it into SCADA BR to form the base of my HMI design okay so I load it and I click on upload and then we can see it right in SCADA BR. I now need to add the points. I change this one to button. Label and then now I need to specify or configure the label. Okay, so I click on the graphical interface. When the signal is 1, I need to to show or indicate on so I type on there when it's zero I type off because it needs to show off the height of my button should be 50 so I type 50 in there and then the width should be 100 okay I click on save and then I now need to assign the tag to it so the point type I need to assign and this is my start button so I start, start tag to it and then I give it a name start I take this very box and then I click on save okay I have my first tag which is my start button I now need to align it and position it correctly so I go to the alignment you can see that I try lifting it, it will not move I need to use this alignment tool I select it and then click on 
move with the I'll now have to move it with the keyboard okay so I move it into position okay, I specify for the calibration button too as well on when it's one and then off when it is zero I click on save and then I assign the point and this is the cow bit I assign to it give it a name and then I click on save and then I have it too as well I go to alignment and then select it and say move with the keyboard and then I use the keyboard to move it into position okay using the arrow keys you can move it into position that one is done I now change this one to binary graphics so that I can add my LEDs for the indication okay so I move on and then look for okay so I first add my output which is the pump motor okay when it's assigned quickly and then I assign the point two as well okay this is my pump so I call it pump select this very one and then click on save I have my pump when it's off is showing blue when it's on it's supposed to show green so we'll look at it when we are testing okay so I click on the add again and then now I can add the bottle status LED I click on it And then I select the LED when it's off it's supposed to show this color and when it's on it shows this bright green okay I click on save I go to the point and then assign the point which is the enable button enable and then I click on save I have it right there I click on add and then add the next item which is the buzzer indicator okay so I select LED for it too as well okay this color when it's off and then I only want it to flash so I select the flashing when it's on assign the point and this is going to be the buzzer point okay so I label it buzzer I click on save and then I need to align it correctly select it okay aligned I move on to analog graphics and then position it correctly and this is the filling set point okay my minimum is 0 my max is supposed to be 20 I select this and now look for the point which is our set point okay so I select it and I say save I now need to assign the point now and this is my time max I give it a name time value time max sorry and I click on save okay I need to align it correctly so I select it and then I use my arrow on my keyboard to position it to the filling time set point position okay I click on stop to stop the alignment tool I move on and then click on add okay okay I select the next one and this my max is going to be 100 100 counts 
and then this one I assign it I use the battery indicator just for the test and then the point I assign it to the PV I click on save I use the alignment tool to align it correctly I select it and then use the arrow to move it into position okay my bottle count is done I need to do that for my PV too as well okay my max I'll put it somewhere around either 20 or 18 I select this select the battery tool for this very one and I click on save I assign the points I select this two checkbox and I click on save need to align it correctly again okay I select it and then move it with my keyboard okay that section also done I stop the alignment too now I need to do the filling indication I click on add again I move it to this position I max 18 select this checkbox okay I need to deselect it and then I look for tank okay so I have the tank right there and I click on save I click on save I need to assign the point so I go in there and I click on save okay I position it on the bottle for the filling indication okay great our HMI interface is done okay so I place the first bottle and then we can see that the bottle status comes on okay I move on and then press the start we can see the system starting filling is going on we can see the filling indicator coming on we can see the PV counting up okay great perfect it's at 16 now filling has stopped great I can take it off good and now put a 500 ml bottle and let's see what happens okay great it's position and we can see that the time is 11 now it's no longer 16 I press on the start I remember it latches so you have to press start and then press on it again for it to for that start to unlatch okay filling started you can see filling going on perfect is ended and we can see it has been able to stop successfully we will now do a manual filling from the push button so I place the 750 ml again and then I press on the start push button from the panel okay we can see that the HMI has picked it up as well and filling has started filling is going on great filling has been successful we will now try that for 500 ml bottle great okay so we can see our filled bottle we will now try our 500 ml bottle we position it and we can see that time is still at 11 and then I press the start again from the start push button and then filling has started perfect too the HMI is able to indicate it correctly and then the filling is also going on perfectly viewers thank you very much for watching this is a design using SCADA BR and we can see how awesome it is see you in the next tutorial bye bye